gearing up for the playoffs against the Milwaukee Admirals. But before we get into that, just take me through those last two games against Abbotsford, two very big wins for your club. Just how did you see those games play out? I think we played well, you know, we scored a lot of calls. We got like, I feel like everyone feels good about our game now. So, so those two, two wins was good for us. And you must be excited to go into the playoffs too. I remember talking to you, I think it was a month or two ago, um, just about how important development is for you in the playoffs, getting to play in those very intense type games. What's the excitement level like for yourself to play in your first playoffs in such a long time? Of course, it's huge. Like, you know, you, you wait for a whole year for those games and now, now they're here. So I'm a lot of excitement. You get some reinforcements back in Morgan Barron and, of course, Dylan Sandberg. Uh, what does Dylan bring to this team? You know, he's a guy, been a guy you played with a little bit when he was here, but now getting him back for this big playoff run, what does that mean? Of course, he's a big part of part of our game, you know. Big guy, can play a lot of defense, the PK. He's a huge part of our team and good to have them here. You've also been racking up some points in the last couple of games, too. What's been working so well for you that you've been generating that offensive production? Uh, honestly, I feel like it's just... Uh, you know, getting back, back to the net, that's the biggest thing for me. I feel like some days when I'm not scoring points, it's like I, I can't get those bucks through to the net, so that's the biggest part. Do you think you have a lot, of, a lot to prove in, in this uh, playoff run, or do you, like, do you feel an extra bit of motivation? Of course, you know, it's a different game. It's, uh, I feel like uh, if you play well in the playoffs, yeah, you can get more appreciated about that. It's a, it's a bit, like, you know, more physical moment there, and, you know, you have to prove you can defense there too. Um, from the beginning of the year to now, what, what area do you think that you've grown the most? Uh, I feel like overall, all, all things, you know, it's just been kind of different year for me. I've been up and down all the time. It's it's not been that easy all the time, but now, now I'm here and it's good to get a couple of games here before the playoff run. And, you know, now it's just a lot of excitement to get going through those games. Obviously, for a bit, your offensive production went down a bit. But like, is that part? Do you think that's part of you know focusing on more of the defensive side of the game and trying to focus on that more? Yeah, I feel like for me, if I score points or or whatever, I feel like it all starts about the defense game. You know, if I play well in the D zone, then I can get more points. And you know, it's it's about uh, it's uh, for me. I feel like it's all about the D zone. For sure, and you know, you're. Your team, like a lot of the defensemen, you guys are very involved offensively. How nice is that to be part of a team where, like, that's encouraged? That's a big part of your guys' attack. Of course, it's huge. Like, you know, you can play a lot of it to Buck. We spend a way more time in O zone than D zone. It's it's yeah. huge. But but that's like I said, it's all started up by D zone. You know, you you break the puck out quick. You play good defense. You play you play more time in O zone. That's all about the defense. Do you feel more um, confident with your ability or, or your? Um, volume of, of picking and choosing when to join the rush and when not to. I know Mark says that's something you've been working on a bit. Yeah, of course. And, you know, it's all about the recognizing when you can go there and when not. Like, right. you know, it's especially in the playoffs, you have to be very careful. It's just like, you know, lose the position in a D zone. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Has Jimmy Ligney helped you a bit with that in terms of below the hash marks and just those kind of defensive plays? Of course, you know, now, now I'm playing with Jimmy probably, probably in the playoffs. So it's huge. And like we play, we play together. Early on, so so it's good to be back with him. Last one for me: um, Has playing on the power play always sort of been a um, a source of confidence for you, and sort of help you with your trajectory always, or is that something that happened later in your role? I don't know. It's, I feel like it's kind of always been there. You know, it's it's been a part of my game always when I've been playing. But you know, it's just for me. I feel like I can get more more touches when I'm on the power play. I can get me feeling more confident. It's just I feel like it helps my game a lot.